Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Lisa. Definitely make sure you subscribe. So last week I filmed a recreating Pinterest meals video, which I've done before. I definitely didn't film it as nice as I did the last time, but the last time it took me so long to film and edit. And this time I was like, let me try to make it simpler for me. I haven't edited the video yet, so I hope it turns out good, but I hadn't filmed an intro or an outro. So I was like, let me get on here and introduce the video to you guys. Um, I really hope you enjoy. I basically just went onto Pinterest and I picked out three meals, which I will put on the screen for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm just gonna try to recreate them without like looking up the exact recipe. Um, I think I only looked up a recipe for my breakfast because I didn't know the exact measurements of everything. But besides that, I just think it's fun to find photos of food on Pinterest and recreating it because that's usually what I do when I try to pick out my meals for the week. Before we get into the video, I quickly want to introduce our sponsor for today, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community where you can follow a bunch of different classes. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, or um, just get lost in your creativity. The possibilities are endless. They literally have so many different things on Skillshare. I actually did follow a class this weekend, this past weekend, by Shadera Igari. I think that's her last name. Her class is called Revolutionary Self-Care, Embrace, Nurture, and Grow Your Authentic Self. I think this class was so beautiful. I definitely would want to re-watch it. I don't know, like for me, sometimes it's really hard to follow along with like a class or like a lecture or something like that. So I do think I want to re-watch it and just take some notes because I didn't do that the first time. She basically just talks about how to really just find your inner love and like the title says, Grow Your Authentic Self. I think it's very Inspiring. I love seeing a black woman or any woman of color, you know, doing stuff like this and being a teacher to many people. And I think that this specific class would be great for any of my viewers to follow because I feel like all of you are kind of around my age, maybe a little bit younger. I feel like you could really benefit from this class. But obviously, if that's not what you're into, you can just check out all of their classes. They have so many different things. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, which is lovely and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you skillshare also has live classes if that's something that you feel like is more interesting for you definitely check it out because this way you're usually also working with other members you'd possibly even be able to ask questions so it's a lot more interactive obviously i can't have a sponsor without giving back to you guys so the first 1000 people that use my link in the description to sign up will get a one month trial it's obviously completely free and if you want to you can always cancel you're not you know stuck to some type of subscription you can try it out for a month see if you like it if you don't that's also fine make sure to check out the description for all the information and the link to skillshare and thank you to skillshare for sponsoring this video now let's go ahead and get into the vid hope you enjoy i'm back from getting groceries let me show you what i got real quick i got these things I can pop in the oven for my lunch. I thought that'd be nice. Got some white bread for my French toast because that's just the best. And like, it's not healthy, but oh well. Some baby spinach for the pasta tonight. Got some extra kiwis because I really love kiwis and I'm running out and I want to eat it with my breakfast. I got an avocado for lunch. Got some cheese for the pasta and I also needed extra cheese for something I'm making tomorrow. I got, this is like cooked chicken i think this is what i need for the lunch we'll see how that turns out and i also just got regular chicken for the pasta i got this seasoning because i we don't have everything but the bagel seasoning here and i thought this would be kind of nice to maybe put on my avocado toast got this pasta sauce because i am a lazy cook not making pasta sauce from scratch you guys sorry this is one of my favorites it's literally so good, so I want to use that. And I got some eggs. So I looked up a French toast recipe, which is what I'm going to follow for this breakfast. Um, it's like a super easy recipe. I haven't made French toast in so long. I feel like my mom used to make this for me when I was younger. And the recipe is quite large. I'm going to split it in half because I feel like it's a bit too much. I'm going to do three slices of bread. I need to add one egg. I'm just going to... Do you get any shells? I don't think so. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Two third cup of milk. I'm just gonna look up what half of that is. One third, okay. I 
could have known that. I feel dumb for looking that up. I'm not good with these measurements. Wait, how much is one third cup in milliliters? Okay, that's 80 milliliters. So I'll do one fourth cup and then add a little bit like more. I'm just using unsweetened almond milk, by the way. I guess that makes this recipe vegan as well. I'm not vegan, but I do like avoiding dairy when I can, even though I'm eating like a super cheesy pasta tonight, but that's okay. Actually, this is not gonna be vegan because there's egg in it. Okay, so then we need some ground cinnamon. I have some cinnamon right here, one fourth teaspoon. I'm just gonna do, I kind of really like cinnamon, so I'm gonna do, I'll just do like half a teaspoon. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh. Well, I just did more than I meant to, sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna do like a tiny bit of salt. I'm so hungry, I really need to eat. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Okay, I think that's good. So then what we need to do is, I'm just gonna dunk this in. Oh, I'm creating a mess. I feel like all the cinnamon got on this first one. That's not good. Like, there's no cinnamon on the other ones. I'll let them soak it up like that. That looks so disgusting, I'm sorry. Probably did that completely wrong, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my, this thing. So it's gonna be really loud, so I'm gonna pop some music over this, and then when I'm done, I'll be back. We're gonna cut up the kiwis and then this is done. Already know your place is my place. No, my place is your place. Let's face it. Baby, you know all the places. Places. My place is your place. My place. Just face it. No one knows my places. Like you. Sorry guys, I just got really good news and I was distracted. I'm gonna share this news with you guys in the next vlog. Finally, I'm gonna be able to share with you, so. Okay, I cut up my kiwis and I also finished the French toast. But I have to say, I, I took a little bite of the bottom one and I don't think it's like sweet at all. So I'm gonna put some agave syrup on top to see if that I don't want it to be soggy because I am really hard with texture. That should do. I don't think we need extra cinnamon. I feel like I'm not gonna like it though. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna enjoy it. This is the finished product, I guess. It's, I mean, the kiwis aren't aesthetic. Oh wait, my mom called me. Okay, so sorry guys, I'm so distracted. Let's do a taste test. I hope the Toast isn't soggy. This is also so not aesthetic. I should take a photo for like the thumbnail, but it's so not aesthetic looking. Oh my God, I can't wait to tell you guys this. Go watch, okay, well, obviously the next vlog isn't gonna be up for two more days, but stay tuned because I'm finally announcing the big announcement. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this out on the balcony. Enjoy my breakfast and the good news that I got. And I'll be back when we're making lunch. So, see you later. Okay, so I'm back for lunch. Um, I'm really hungry. Breakfast wasn't a success. I didn't really like the French toast. Um, I didn't really like the texture. I feel like it was, I don't know. I'm just very picky with texture and it wasn't great. Also, I look kind of busted. Sorry about that. I didn't, I'm just working at my computer today, so I didn't really do my makeup or hair. Okay, so for Lunch, it was avocado toast with like chicken. Okay. Preheat the oven. 
at 200 degrees Celsius. So these have kind of like pumpkin seeds on them. I think that'll be nice. I'll do two. I'll do two, that'll be good, I think. Yeah, I've never used this before. Let's put this on the side. Let's see if we can figure it out, so. My mom told me this is really good. It looks so nasty. How do I cut this out? Wait. Okay, maybe I'll use my hands for this. I just wanna try and get the skin off because it doesn't look flattering to me. And I'm thinking, honestly, just kind of pulling this apart without the skin. I know this looks so nasty, I'm sorry you guys. Also can't really get this in frame properly. I'm actually gonna wait for the oven to preheat because it still has like a bit to go. The bread needs to go into like 10 minutes. So once it comes out the oven, I'll open up my avocado. I hope it's a good one. Oh God. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I don't think you could see that. I'm like, this, this camera really confused me because it's like upside down. So I'm trying to like figure out what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. That's a good avocado. Pretty nice. I think I'm gonna use half an avocado actually. So, take this out. Use that season I bought to season the avocado. I think it's gonna be really good. Let's see. I have a better feeling about this. Breakfast just wasn't it, and I'm like really hungry now. one kind of uneven sorry about it i think i'm just gonna like close it as a sandwich i think that'll be easiest to eat it's gonna be a bit different but the concept's like the same i think in the photo they use sourdough bread but like i've not been able to find sourdough bread here at all so this is my way of making this i guess i don't really like the texture of avocado but i do think it tastes good when i it with certain foods. I could never just eat an avocado raw like that. Like, it's so nasty. Put the chicken on top. Oh, I actually cut enough. That's so good. I, I eyeballed that really well. Like that. So here we have this. And I was thinking maybe just a bit more of the seasoning on top to finish it off. That was kind of good, doesn't it? Sorry about this, it kind of ruins it. I think that looks really good. Let's take a bite. It's actually really good. That chicken is really nice and the seasoning is so great. Roasted garlic and pepper. Salt and onion is also in there. Wow. Okay, well this was a success. I'm gonna go eat this and I'll see you guys when it's time for dinner. Baby, don't stop. Got the key to the lock. We in our own zone. Make yourself at home. Get to know mine on the inside. Can meet at yours next.
Both my cameras died, but I'm literally on like the last part of this video, so I'm filming this on my phone. Sorry for the ugly ass quality. I wanted to do a taste test on camera. Put some cheese in there. Oh, it looks so good. Like, wait, let me take a photo. Mmm. Very good. Now, obviously, I didn't make this sauce from scratch because I'm a lazy cook. But that's okay. Because, you know, I put love into it. I'm going to devour this. See ya. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you want me to do these every now and then. You know, I'm not going to do these monthly or anything. If you want to see me do this maybe when fall fully hits or, like, around Christmas time, just doing, like, more... Um, maybe holiday related meals or like fall meals, whatever. I don't know. Get creative. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe. Also, turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do for my 500k giveaway. Stay tuned for that. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.